Hi everyone, and welcome back to DJ Gamer Plays Pokemon X Mono Steel Type Challenge. In the last episode, we beat up Grant and got ourselves the Cliff Badge. So let's just keep going and moving on. But first of all, it is team recap time. First up, we have our hardy Metamech, our starter, who has the who is uh, capable of taking hits with a clear body ability, has the moves Take Down Confusion, Metal Claw, and then he just low Pursue as of level 23. Next up, we have the sassy little Sunark, our Aron, with the Rockhead ability, who is alert to sounds and the moves Iron Defense, Metal Claw, Mud Slap, and Headbutt. Third, and we have Danji, the defiant, brave little Ponyard who loves to eat cheese, Metal Claw, Fate Attack, Fury Coil, and Torment are his moves. Up next, we have Ulfbert. I always forget Ulfbert. The mild, thoroughly cunning Hone Edge with Pursuit, Sword Sense, Fury Coil, Shadow Seek, and No Guard. Next up, we have our timid little prince, the Empoleon, with Metal Claw, Peck, Bulbapy, and Sword Dance and Torrent, and he nods off a lot. He's a little sleepy boy. And finally, last but not least, we have Polaris with the moves Magnet Bomb, Thunder Shock, Sonic Boom, Thunder Wave with the Sturdy Billy, and he's very naughty and alert to sounds. And that is our team recap done. So I am gonna I'm gonna put Polaris up front because Polaris hasn't had the best of luck recently. So we are gonna go north of here into the oh, what's this? This is a Iapa berry. So here we do have we've got some grass here. Oh we've got a battle first. This place is flowing with power. I often come here to recharge. Psychic Rival with a Hippopotas, that's not good. That's not great for me. <laughs> Thankfully, well, like these Pokemon that have all these like weather abilities, like we are immune to Sandstorm. Uh, we're gonna go to Prince then, we'll get Prince out here, get a Bubble Beam off. It might have like Sand Tomb or something, but that's fine. It's using Dig, okay. That's fine, honestly. I'm just going to use Bubble Beam. I was, I was going to set up a sword stance, but it was like no point because we're using... Ooh, okay, that did a lot of damage. That actually did do a lot of damage. We should take it on one hit though, yeah, that's fine. I think we just got unlucky because I was using Polaris first. Wow, you and your Pebble Tower levels are incredible. They're over 9,000 for sure. I should probably give strength to someone just so we can... Do these strength puzzles and stuff. I mean, we've got some grass here, and we've got flowers there. And we've got grass in there as well, and I'm trying to think what I could do. Because when it comes to, like, when you have multiple options, it's really hard, because, um... It's like, oh, what if I get my encounter here, and then you don't, and then you go to the other bit and you don't get it there. Or you get it in the other one, sorry. Okay, we've got a Mighty Edna, so that's number one. I might... Mm, it's hard because I do set myself to five. Like, most people would probably just do the one, but... Like, if they were doing a Nuzlocke, they'd just pick the first Pokemon on the route. And be like, nope, I didn't get one. But if you did that, you would have to have a team. <laughs> oh, shut up. Okay, so let's do two here. And then I'll do three in the grass. That sounds fair. I've still got like two two things to do on that other route as well because I was I needed to use um Rock Smash. And then I've got a count in Silage City as well. Okay, better bar. I don't know where we're gonna get to today. We might end up just about by the glittering ca cave. I think it's called the glittering cave. Or was that the other one I went through? Was that the Clearing Cave? It's the Under Reflection Cave, sorry. Oh, yeah. Stop right there, I remember you. You're the one who foiled our plans for fossils. And now you're here, standing around those stones. Do you have any idea what they even are? Of course you don't. You know nothing about the legend of 3,000 years ago that says. Wait, what does it say? Oh, whatever. Who cares about the, all that? It's time for me to get some sweet revenge with style. Okay, so he's got two Pokemon. Please have swim. Rogunk. That's not great. Alright, we're gonna go into Metamech. That's Metamech, there he is. Metamech because it's four times weak to Psychic, so that'll be good to get rid of it real quick. And it's got Pursuit. I mean, we're fine. 
the suit is such like a, a Nuzlocke run, a ender because like, well not an ender, but it's a Nuzlocke ru ruiner. Excellent. Okay, next. Krogon's such a cool Pokemon. I love Krogon. And then cast form. It depends what cast form wants to do, to be honest. Well, I could go into Polaris and hope that he does the rain form. <laughs> but to do the, the um, sunny form. I know it's wind. Okay, we're going to go for a Thunder Shock then, in hopes that it's going to use Rain Dance. Uh, Sonic Boom. It's just using Headbutt. That's doing a lot of damage, honestly. And uh, why did you. Polaris? We need to have words. You're not, you're not pulling your weight. <laughs> He needs to, he needs to, um, he needs to hurry up. I was using hail, okay. It's fine. He just needs a better move and then he'll be fine. All right, let's do, uh, let's do Sonic Boom then. Actually, I should have done Magnet Bomb. Oh no, he's using Rain Dance. Really? So it's got Headbutt, Rain Dance, Hail. Probably stunning day. Please don't. Um, I'm gonna thunder wave it. I love that when Magnemite. Oh. I love when Magnemite gets hit. It gets like a big cross on its face. Ma uh, Polaris. Why? Why? That really doesn't have Weather Ball then. <sighs> Polaris, you need to you need to stop this. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> stop it with your weather. <sighs> I'm just gonna use try and use it again. Just gonna try and use it again. Cause you're just gonna keep trying to change form on me. This is just the first one here. I feel like that today, like, it's very irritating. Like, certain times when I'm doing videos and stuff, I feel like my mouth's not, like, moving as fast as I'm talking, and it's, like, really hard to talk. So I apologize if, like, I'm stuttering a lot today. Level 21, are you gonna learn anything? Also, in Spark. I mean, that's better than Thundershock, but it's not great for... It's not really great for a Magnemite, because Magnemite's a special attackers. It's better than Thunder Shock though, so. You ain't beating me again, but when I lose, I go I'm in style. Oh yeah, I did change my trainer as well. I probably forgot to mention that in the last episode. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, it's him on the Holocaster. I see. Roger that. Hey, got all the Holocaster. Again, I can get up to information in real time with this stylish device. How whoever thought this thing up must have been one truly stylish individual, too. Not and on that note, it's time for me to scram with style. So did I get any encounters in this grass yet? I don't think I did, did I? Oh my god, it's a Tarantrum! I love Tarantrum! Oh my god, look at it! Look how cool it is! You're not steel though, damn you! Oh my god, Tarantrum, I love you. I want a Tarantrum. I need to do a grass, a, a dragon or a rock challenge and I'll get- I want a Tarantrum. <laughs> Alright. Encounter number... I think this is count number four. It's Pyro. I have a feeling we're not going to get one today. That's fine, though. Attack and special attack fell. That's fine. All right, come on. Let me go. All right, so far it doesn't have any fire moves, but it's still a possibility. Polaris, please run away. This is very irritating. Thank you, jeez. We got an item over here, that's all I was trying to... Oh, I have to walk around. Yeah, let this psychic psychic guy go past and then... Oh, it's a Thunderstone, I can't use it. <laughs> I may as well just sell that then. All right, let's move out of the way with you. 
I want to get my last encounter before we continue. I think I didn't get any encounters yet. I could be wrong. And a Taylor. Okay. But no encounter for me in this route, which is fine. These unfortunate things happen. Okay, get a spark off on it. Perfect. That was a crit. And then... We'll switch to... Who should we switch to? I think... I'm really liking my team. I am really liking my team. I think... If, if we get any more, the Pokemon I'd probably replace is Hone Edge. Only because I love Hone Edge and I love Aegislash. And it is a Steel type and so But my thinking is because it was my starter in my Ghost Challenge, I don't really want it on my team this time around. I want to give other Steel types a chance to shine. And we have uh, Danji in case of any uh, issues. Because Ghost and Dark have the same kind of uh, super effectiveness. Cotton Spore, that's speed, isn't it? Is it attack? Oh, it's speed, Hachi Fall. That's fine. We were slower than you anyway. Excellent. And it did it. Okay, we'll stay in then. Doesn't that heal it? Yeah, that definitely heals. Oh, yeah, you're not weak to... Mm, yeah, forgot. Nuzzle, damn you. Oh, no, pull Sadak. Come on. Come on, Sadak, you got this. Is that going to be enough? No. I don't want to do a... I don't want to do... Um... Ah. That's probably going to take me out. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, Sadak. <laughs> We are gonna go. Who are we gonna go to then? Why are you weak? Why is Fairy weak to poison and steel? Sorry, why it's weak to it. I've got steel types, but and this one's weak to ground, obviously, because it's an electric type. But we have no. I can go to Polaris because Polaris can't actually get paralyzed. That was a thing introduced in Gen. Six, I believe it was actually introduced in this gen that electric types can't get paralyzed. Which I think is cool, but at the same time, I think that um, it shouldn't have been that they couldn't get paralyzed. I think it, I, I think it should have been they couldn't get paralyzed, but I think it should have been they couldn't get paralyzed paralyzed by electric moves because you can get paralyzed by other means in life that aren't electric but it's kind of I can see why they did it because like electric is associated with paralysis but so is grass types it's grass types is associated with status ailments like sleep but uh, well not really burn they should do like a a burn powder all right so we are nearly at the destination I think yeah, there was, a, there was a team flag person there. I just like ignored them. So now we're in Geocentral. I love the music in Geocentral Town. Okay, let's heal up. I should probably buy some items as well. And what I'll do, I was as at the oh god, my mouth, Jesus Christ. <laughs> as always, I will probably battle most of the trainers off screen just so we can get some experience and I can trade up because I don't want to make you sit through every battle that we encounter. Because that wouldn't be fair. Okay, we're gonna buy eight of those, and that should be fine. I think I have some Pokeballs left in. I have one Pokeball. Okay, it's a good job I'm probably gonna buy some more then. Let's buy ten of those, and then we'll buy nine... Nine Pokeballs. Does anyone here have anything for me? Do you have anything for me? Do you hear this big sense of Pokemon? Maybe look... Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll get more into that. Hello. Oh, Payback. Thank you. That might, uh, no. Okay. And then, do you have anything? Probably not. Thanks. Leave a Joker, Joker Nurse Joy. Oh, hang on. Can I? Hang on. Really? There's nothing here? That's surprising. Jesus, and Shannon, it's the Tone of Stones. Tone. 
<laughs> did I actually just say that? The Town of Stones. Did I say the Tone of Stones or did I just imagine I said the Tone of Stones? I think I actually said Tone of Stones. Hmm. <laughs> Questionable. <laughs> Hello? For some reason, a Pokemon will not evolve when it holds an Everstone. I have quite a few of them. Shall I show you? I don't want that. Go away. Leave me alone when you're Everstone. The music, like, the music in uh, Kalos is amazing. Nothing but rocks. Okay, so before we finish the episode off, because we're about 15 minutes, I'm going to go and talk to the Team Flare guy who is up here. Yeah, this Pipsqueak Team Flare is going to use the stones of Route 10 and, f and a fantastic treasure to make everyone on our team happy. In this world, the ones who have power are the ones who win with Flair. Who's at the front? I think it's Sanak. Ooh, was someone from Team Flare here just now? He was here, but he wasn't. He isn't here anymore, is he? And the only thing past here is a dead end. There's something very weird about Team Flare. How do you know there's only a dead end down there? Where did you come from? Oh, mysterious. <laughs> okay, so actually, how long have I got? I've got. A few minutes actually. We, could, we might be able to get our next encounter. Nagala, what are you doing? Oh yeah, I forgot about you. Hey, you're the trainer from Group 5! Arroof! <laughs> I'm not exactly sure, but I think Lucario is saying he wants to battle with you. Would you like to battle with us? I have two Lucario, but you know which is the one that's taking a shine to you? Oh, okay. No? Oh my god. I didn't think she battled us here. That's not good. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> okay, so this is probably going to be an episode that's going to go over. Which I apologize for, everyone. It happens, though. We might get wiped. Because that's not a good start. Don't flinch. Don't flinch. Okay, thank you. See, that doesn't do anything because Polaris has no physical attack. Not totally sure what to do against Scrollgator here. Maybe a Sonic Boom just to get a good solid 20 damage off on it. I should have probably Thunderwaved it. Ah, okay, that was a crit. Nothing I could do about that. Okay. I don't really have anything that it's weak to. The stuff that I can do to it. Um, I could just see it keep using. Faint attack, because that's going to do a decent amount of damage. Stop using fight. Jesus Christ. It's going to make me flinch with one of these attacks. Ice Fang, okay. Don't freeze me. Now we can't flinch, of course. Okay. We're struggling against a for for alligator here, so. <clears throat> oh, that was a crit. Okay, so we got rid of the for alligator. I might end up. I might end it at twenty minutes anyway, and then we'll continue this into the next episode because I think that'd be kind of cool. So that was a little takedown, and that's actually really good for for Sadak because he doesn't get recoil damage. I'm gonna get rid of Iron Defense actually. Because even though Mud Slap's not the best move, Rock or Rock, okay. Even though Mud Slap's not the best move, it is still ground type damage against any electric types to come into. For now. Swagger. Come on, Prince, you got this, you got this. Please hit it. Ah! Come on. Prince, you got this. Come on, don't hate yourself in confusion. 
Why? Oh my god, right. So, with that, I am going to end the episode off here. We are in the middle of a battle, but we'll continue this battle straight into the next episode. I hope you enjoyed the episode, everyone, and I'll see you then. Don't, I don't think I came up with a question. Um... What? Oh god, this is hard. Last time we did What's Your Favourite Season? What is... Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Tired. Um, what is your... Oh jeez, I can't think of anything. What? Pokemon was your favorite in Galar? There you go, that's a question for you. Because by this point, we'll have seen the Galar Pokemon. And, uh... I want to know what your favorite is from the Galar region. I don't know yet, because we haven't seen them yet, but that is going to be the end of the episode here, guys. Sorry, it went on a little bit longer then, uh, because I was trying to think of a question. But I will see you all in the next episode. I just wanted to heal him up so we have it ready. And I'll see you then. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.